Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. We're at the beginning of the wet cycle. Stuff is just now getting to go, and all that good stuff. I made a slight miscalculation. I forgot to add in a couple dams over here to allow the water to flow through this uh, so that it doesn't overflow. So I made just an itty bitty mistake here. But that's okay. We can fix that really fast. That's not a big issue. So let's see. Let me take out... Let me take out that path. This path. And that one. And then we should be able to just take these three out. And come back with three dams so that solves the little flooding problem over here and it gave us a little bit of water over here into this guy so now we have even more green over here so that's cool so but yes let's go ahead let's get this knocked out let's get that situated and we'll go from there so I would like to let's see how many we still got seven seven vacancies i was gonna say i'd like to get some more crops going over here maybe get a forest going up here um but we're still missing a handful of beavers we haven't fully recovered yet oh yeah and i saw several buildings paused and turned off as well so okay so it's one step at a time we gotta you know kind of go slow with it but we'll get there we'll, we'll figure it out we'll get it Looking at everything I got. Okay, so water is flowing down there. All of that's good. Where are we at on dynamite? I've got four pieces of dynamite. So, if I want to add in some more dynamite, where do I want to add it to? Hmm. I mean, we've already got a spot right there, so that's going to help keep that green. That's going to, those are going to pump there. Uh, we got a little bit more over here. I mean, I could, I could rip that out, and put in some more. I could put in a bridge right there if I really wanted to. Well, no, no, because we have the corners, so no a bridge wouldn't work right there. Uh. I mean, it's only four dynamite, but then, you know what? I'm going to put it down here. Let's put two right there. I'm going to put another one right there. And then I guess we got one that we didn't blow up right there. Uh, I'll just put another one, like, right there. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and detonate that one. Make sure that one gets blasted. So we'll do that. And like I said, now I believe all of our water woes are over for the most part. Now it's just a matter of building more storage, getting all the water pumped out, you know, controlling some of the flow. So yes, we do have a little bit of an overflow right there. And I was concerned about that, and I am a little bit concerned about right here, about blocking that off as well. Hmm... I'm just kind of looking at this right here. Um, man, that guy is moving, isn't it? I was just thinking, if we built a wall, I'd kind of like to build the wall back here as close as possible. I'm wondering if that's, yeah, that's probably what we should do. Because if we were going to build it, we should build it back here. Yeah, let's do that, and then I'm going to build over over there like so, just to make sure we keep all this stuff back. Oh, 
Okay, well, now that we've got that, I can technically close this guy, I think, and then that can run this way. Yeah, there we go. Let's make sure we pause that one. Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And this guy's still turning like crazy. Yep. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to build a set of levees over here. That way all the flow's directed straight out. And that will eventually dry up. And I don't know. I don't know what we'll do with it. We might just backfill it. Put a building over it. I don't know. We'll see. We've got six beaver. Do I have, I still have paused breeding pods, don't I? No, I've got them all open, don't. Hmm. Okay, so we've got ten baby beavers. Uh, six vacancies, but I still have a bunch of stuff that we have turned off. Yeah, because I need to get this shop going again. Well, not that shop, that's our gear shop, hold on. I need to get this shop going. Alright. Um, let's do... Let's do this. Let's come over here. And I am going to put down... What? We need to get a forester, I think. Because I'm going to need more berries as well. And we got a bad tide approaching. Okay, I'm not even going to mess with, with the berries in because all it's going to do is just kill everything. So, that's fine. Uh, do I have these? I don't have these programmed yet, do I? No, I don't. That's what I needed to do. I just remembered I should have blown out the back side of this so that I could have made an escape for the bad tide. Ugh. Okay. So, all of that's going to get turned to yuck. Um, unable to get all the materials. What are we missing? Bad water? Because we don't have enough beavers. Okay. Now we're down to eight vacancies. Oh, we had a couple die of old age. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's going to be a slow go. We're trying to rebuild our population again. Once, once a couple of these babies get converted over, it'll be okay. But I do want to increase our berry bushes, though. I mean, I could put them up here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, let's see, Forester's right there. I think he's not catching that last little bit, though. Hmm. I mean, do I seriously need to put it, like, over there? I don't want it over there. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to do do what we can with what we got right there. Let me do that. Let me increase the priority. That just overflowed, didn't it? Why? Why did that overflow? Don't overflow. Don't do that again. Hmm. That was very odd, but that's okay because that's just gonna fill this little pond over here. So I'm not, I'm not upset with that. I'm just trying to figure out why. Why is it surging? 
Okay, so we got that. Now I can plant some berry bushes over here. And I'm thinking all of that's berry bushes. And all of that. Pause that for just a moment. You know, let's do this. Yep, get that built, get that going. We've got about half a day left. We're down to four vacancies, good. So we are building up our numbers again. We've got all of our water storage pretty much filled up. Got just a little bit left that we can fill up. And for right now... Shut that gate, open that gate. Okay. And so far, uh, yeah, I was afraid of that. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. No, it's gonna get into my water. Uh, we need to get, I need to get some more levees put into place. Yeah, just get it, just get it up there. No, don't go through the dirtiness. What's wrong with you beavers? I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of contaminated beavers again because they're being dumb. You have access on top. You don't have to get your feet dirty. Okay, well, on the bright side of things, it does look like, for the most part, the berry bushes over here will live during a bad tide, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lower No, you're going to stay working there? Hmm. You could walk right on top mm,
I've got half smart beavers, half dumb beavers. Yep. Well, on the bright side of things, I do have the decontamination pods, so we can get them in there. I just got to get some extract going again, which I think we're out of extract, or do we have a little bit? We have a little bit of extract, not a lot. But it's not going to help me if all these beavers get sick. Okay, good. So that's finished. So I know the water's not going to go over this now. Everything has to go through through that channel. And of course, they're not they're just you can walk right on top but you choose not to. You know, maybe I should delete this path. Maybe if I delete the path, maybe they'll stay away from the, the outside. Maybe they'll stay on top. Nope, they're still going down there. open this guy again. Three vacancies. Yeah, start getting extract. Are we uh, are we pumping yet? No, we are not pumping. Now are we staying on top? Ooh, they finally learned. They finally learned. Good. Get these last couple of blocks in here and that should stop it from flowing into into the green area, I think. I mean it might still be over here just a little bit, but I think for the most part it should keep it pushed over. No, still going to flow? Hmm. And I've got two dynamite. So they're using the decontamination pods. Oh, 
Oh, it's because I don't have the haulers turned on, that's why. Yeah, we'll turn it on. We'll see. We'll see if we can get those buildings running. Get them cleaned up a little bit. There it goes. Now we've got the green goo. Alright, so now how long does it take to decontaminate a beaver? It looks like it's kind of bringing it down pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, we might need a couple more of these pods, but I think, I think this will work. I do believe this will work. So I need a little bit of metal and stuff. Yeah, let me let me put in two more of these guys. We got three dynamite up there. Okay. Almost there. Huh, and the water's still kind of trying to flow over that. That's that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Hopefully no more beavers will go through the dirty water, but we'll see what happens. Will we be dealing with smart beavers or dumb beavers? Nice. Okay, good. Yeah, stay on the path. Stay on top of it. Redirect the flow. Nice. Probably won't see a change until we get this next one built, but, you know, it's almost there. We are still good on water. We're still good on food. Berry bushes are growing. That's good. It dried up a little bit right there. Maybe this one will do it. Now nah, I'll probably end up having to go all the way to the edge.
No, no, that did it. All right, good. I'm still gonna put one more over here just because, but that got that got accomplished what I wanted it to get accomplished. All right. And how are we doing up there? We still we still need three more. Where are we at on vacancies? We got six vacancies. Okay. Did they get that built? They did get that built. Great. All right. Let's go ahead and get our power connected right here. And I want to run it over here to the buildings as well. So give me give me a universal. Me one of those. I'll just, well, we don't really need a four way there, do we? I mean, I've got a universal right there next to it, so I guess a corner piece would be fine. Actually, you know what? I did the wrong one there because I aimed the wrong way. Hold on. Get rid of that one. Turn that guy. Now I run it. So I get that done, and then this power can hook up to that, and then I don't have to have the wheel running during the, during the bad tides. At least during the bad tides. That should power everything. So, like I said, we need... We need the option to be able to turn those on and off with the uh, with the different weather cycles. And then I think, I mean, it's not going to last very long. I was going to say I need to put in a dam or something up here, but I think we might want to blast that out before I do it. do at least that and then I'll blast this out and we'll put in another one and yeah that should be good just waiting on a little bit more dynamite got three vacancies left six incapacitated As soon as that decontamination gets out of this one, we'll have another worker, and I bet he'll go to work at the pumps. And we'll get some more extract going. Oh, yeah, we have zero vacancies now. And we have one extra. Nice. Okay, good. So that means our bad water pumps. Yes, yes, yes. I think we're going to move those bad water pumps. I think I'd rather have them over here in this little thing. Yeah, because that's already too deep to begin with, so we might as well put pumps over here.
Yeah, we'll just start right there with it. And they got all those trees. Let's go ahead and mark all this. And then we're going to mark all that. Okay, so we don't quite have enough to get it all running, but if we get another wheel, can I get another wheel in there real fast? Let me see. Let's see, can we get another wheel? No, it looks like I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to get over here and do a little bit of, a little bit of landscaping, a little bit of rearranging, but once we get that done, it should give us a second wheel and we should be able to get quite a bit of power coming from this little area right here so that shouldn't be too hard to do but i think that's probably about it for today's video guys we got quite a bit done today so we got a new little berry farm in there and i know some of the berries are gonna die the other ones are still hanging in there but we'll get that we'll get that a little bit more situated with time like i said we've got that other little dam area that way we can keep those berries watered uh, even during a bad tide or a drought. So we'll keep that going. That way we have a second supply of berries. We'll get some more beavers going in the pods. Once we get all that going, everything should kind of just even out and everything will be good. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share that video on any social media you're using. You guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said... Until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.